Wasn't much of a push. Umpire Matthew Nichols, they say he can handle himself too. Harry O'Brien, you're taking your life into your hand. Well, it's got a bit of a feel about it all of a sudden out there, doesn't it? Well, Barry's got a third chance to put a hand in the back. <laughs> well, they've got an easy one. Everything Harry does, he does with flair. Races away, kicks inside the forward 50. Clock. Pick did well, gave it to Goddard, clears the zone. Johnson knocks it down. Harry lines up. Harry O'Brien heads for goal. And he's got it. The cult figure. Short to O'Brien. Go yeah, back and kick it, Harry. That's good in theory. Yeah. I don't think he likes his chances. Look at the dish off. Now he goes for the big wind-up. And the big H launches a monster. Good draft. Mm, a good kiss. <laughs> the Tyrant crowd's now cheering as a 50 metre penalty. It'll take it to it in Harry uh, O'Brien's range as well. But the Collingwood crowd's just cheering every mark now. He has had a good final Three series, Harry. All Australian this year, but he had a, a modest grand final last week, but he's, yeah, no, he's no, rectified Mil, that today. Mill did a good job on him last week, mm. but. Uh, Yes, he's reversed that particular duel today. He's kept Milne completely out of it. Started today really well and had that real energy. Went for a run, took an intercept ball across half forward for the Pies. He's had a great day. He can kick a long running goal, we know that. He's 50 out. It's a beautiful kick. He's jumped out of the thinking chair right now. He feels like Einstein. <laughs> Sweet feeling, this. No, it's not. Not for him. Yeah, that's the other side of the coin. Well, last week we said at the end of the game there was this bit of nothing feeling because no one had won, no one had lost. Mm. Today there's going to be the extreme. Collingwood have got it. And St Kilda are just going to have to uh, quit their teeth and bear the fact that they've uh, lost the second consecutive year. And he finds Thomas on centre wing, takes on Clark. Runs around him, thought about giving it to O'Brien before he realised O'Brien was going to shepherd for him. Now he gives it to O'Brien, who has a bounce. The chase provided by Ballantyne, but Harry's got a bit of toe. Kicks it towards the goal square. Oh, he's kicked a remarkable goal! One of the goals of the year! Harry O'Brien, who got involved on centre wing initially with a shepherd, kept running. And what about the finish? Great start to the second half by the Magpies. And that is a fair goal, Rob Walls. Yes, it's a terrific way to start. And don't the fans love it when one of their favourite players, and especially a backman, backs himself, has a run, a couple of bounces, and is able to put one through. And that is a real lifter. Sensational stuff, and Collingwood out by 27 points and have started the third quarter in impressive fashion. They have. Duffield. For him. Now he gives it to O'Brien, who has a bounce. The chase provided by Ballantyne, but Harry's got a bit of toe. Kicks it towards the goal square. Oh, he's kicked a remarkable goal. One of the goals of the year. Harry O'Brien. Who got involved on centre wing initially with a shepherd, kept running, and what about the finish? Great start to the second half by the Magpies, and that is a fair goal, Rob Walls. Yes, it's a terrific way to start, and don't the fans love it when one of their favourite players, and especially a backman, backs himself, has a run, a couple of bounces, and is able to put one through, and that is a real lifter. Sensational stuff, and Collingwood out by 27 points and have started the third quarter in impressive fashion. They have. Duffy. Had another one in this last quarter. O'Brien, a beauty. Every preseason you do it, Bruce.
I mean, the umpire said then that that was reckless. They'll certainly have a look at it later in the week as well. Stevie Mill doesn't want to undo any of his good work early in this quarter. You know what's from about that's not on that language. Harry, we'll deal with it, Harry. Hey. Harry, Harry. Yes. I reckon the language was directed at O'Brien, not the umpire. And if markets can't handle that directed at players, then boy. Harry O'Brien. The ultimate inside.